these are the first sites as you're coming into the park you have the, the air balloon over there and the water treatment facility there so if the wind is blowing towards you in this direction you're going to get a lot of fumes from that water treatment but this is a They're very narrow pretty narrow sites no no hedges between them Parking place and a picnic table. Yeah. And then the next guy. And it goes all the way down to the end. And the end of the street is by the uh, channel. So we're walking towards the channel. Um, you can see the spaces are pretty close to each other right on top. They're short too. You can see here the fifth wheel and the pickup doesn't even fit. Yeah. The fifth wheel fits in there, but it wouldn't fit behind or That's next totally to that box. Yeah. It would hit that box if you ex expand your your uh, slides. So this uh, road, you see a car come by. That is the perimeter road on the park on the outside of one way. And you get the new community center over there that is not open yet but then you have this side road service road which will get you into your RV spot coming up uh, we were walking down the side there's 361 right here 359 and so on and so forth all the way up and those uh, you would drive in for sort of pull-in spots side of these RVs here is the continuation of the road but you also have the channel and over here you have the service road for these RVs to get into their spots. Yeah, these all look about the same but we just walked down. Yeah. Fairly uh, narrow, one vehicle long. Same width of each one of these of them. areas a little higher and I will mark it on the map so you can see what where we were just walking in walking through this it's area on well, the end's not too bad a little bit wider much longer I'm gonna walk back up this row or go through the shortcut to the next I'm gonna walk up this row here so right. ours ours would be right there no there's one more street Yeah, I think so. So these are pull-ins. On the right side. You have to pull in, and if you have if you're towing something, you pull in, unhook, and... <laughs> maneuver is the best word. Yeah, maneuver <laughs> out of there to get back out of the spot. So something like 239, you can see it's kind of difficult to maneuver out of there if you're throwing a fifth wheel and, and, They're very long. and get out. But if you got a class A, no you just pull right in and you're, you're good. So, I think that's our sewing lady. Oh. It is our sewing lady. Remember her little red pickup truck? Some of these tables are anchored down so you can't move them to get back out of there. So it'd be a little tight to maneuver yourself out of, out of that spot. Unless you're the first guy here. Then there's nobody around. You can just go wherever. Yeah. But these are about the same distance between each site as the ones that we were just walking up on. They're a little bit longer. Oh, right. right there. We're straight? No. That's, mm, that's our big horn. We see huh. our blue truck, no kayaks on it. Oh, yeah. Probably can't see the pot, the pirate flag from this side. We see our brown big horn back in. So these are the blue ones that we're looking at. Yeah, these are
see some of these folks put up these wind barriers around their site because it's quite windy. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty interesting little RV. You know, what we didn't do yesterday is get pictures of that motorcycle. Oh, yeah. With a wheelchair ramp. Handicap accessible motorcycle. It's pretty, pretty cool. Sweet. on that side they're about like where we're at. They're really yeah. long. They're pretty wide. Yeah. There's no stuff in between so much, but I think really that many on our side don't have that much stuff in between. I think we just got lucky. Yeah. With that row of shrubs. Some of them build walls in them. Yeah. You're not supposed to build any structures. Uh, but as you can see right back there, there's like a shower structure or a little shed for storing some stuff. There's that windscreen. Shade. Higher rather than lower. Yeah. Well, this one comes with a dance floor. Little wooden pa pallet spread out. Some have cement pads, pad. some don't. Uh, you, you can tell people who are here long term sort of customize their favorite spots. And there's no guarantee that you'll end up with your favorite spot when you get back. There's got to be a way that they do that. Yeah. This is Carrizales Street, C1. 74 through C215. And uh, this is very similar to the one we were just walking down on. Well, one side. One side. This side, it's back in on your right hand side as we're walking towards the channel. And on this side, except for this guy here. He was able to back in, but most of them were pull-ins. You pull in, and your, your, your services are on that side of the RV. Big Sky Montana and a regular Montana. You got some more of those wind shield. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> So our street is one over to our left and we're in the back end side. So we would be on, on this side, on the right hand side, but on one over. And another big horn. That's funny, we just walked right past it and didn't see it. Here's the two blue ones that we look at at our back window. Yeah. 
right up there. It's right behind that wind sport. So just to the left is us. And just to the right is the blue somewhere. Yeah. So that's our oh, that's RV, one. the big horn with the uh, pirate flag flying. Cactus. So this one, there's a turnaround. You can come down to the end and turn around and go back and do your pull-ins or back-ins. Because everything on this road, you have to be going in that direction to park it. Either pull-in or back-in on this side. So all these end of the streets have this little openings you can go through and come out to the channel. The channel. Oh, wow, look how low the tide is. It sure is. So, this channel is uh, where all the ships go in and out to the coast. Uh, this channel will take you into the Brownsville the port, Port Isabel and Brownsville. Today, the tide is super low, or it's super low tide time. Yeah. But tomorrow is, it will be the highest tide of the month, and it will be blood wolf moon. We're hoping to catch some video of it. So that wraps up this portion of our tour of Port Isla uh, Blanca, Port Isla Blanca uh, County Park. Park. Out for our walk this morning, and I wanted to sort of give you a little view of some of the sites here. Right behind me, you have uh, what I call the odd pull-ins. You have to pull in because the power is on the wrong side. And on this side over here is where you would turn around. You back it back in and you turn around. There's a dead end at the end of the street, so there is no way to turn around at the, at the end. I personally missed that backup and I had maneuvering to get around it. But like I said, on this side, you back in, you pull in, and you just sort of back out. And on this side, you pull in, and you back in. So this is Turner Street, and that's what the, the, the slots or spaces look like on Turner Street. This is where I had to do my maneuvering. What I did is I took a, a right here and went all the way across. Made a U-turn on that side and came back through head first and went down to where we're 
parked so I could back in. We were on the back end side, not the pull in side. You actually went around that green truck that was sitting there then too. Yeah, that same truck was there. So this is the uh, walkway that you can take. It takes you right down to the beach. And this is some of the other camping spaces. Like I said, uh, the configuration is quite different. Uh, you can see this one here, the street goes up, you can back in, but you would have come in the other direction to back in. There's both back ends. This is the Ignacio Garza Jr. Circle. If you get a map of the area, you can basically see what the circles look like, where the area is. This one is the Kaneohe Bay Circle, a little Hawaii-ish. This area over here is that area that on the map it shows RVs parked all different directions. There aren't necessarily pads over there. No. Some have picnic tables, some have pads, some is just grass. Got these here to the back ends. You see that one right there is back then, and then the other one over there. So you kind of caddy corner to each other. Right up construction over there. Yeah. We're walking on Road 100, so it's sort of circling through the middle of the park. more of the area with the willy-nilly. This end is really spaced out more. Yeah. On the map it doesn't look that way. But as you can see it's you got them all over the place. The big one over there. Similar to ours. There's that restrooms, those are under construction as well. I don't know what circle this is. see here so that would be the road that you drive up and back in along this area here and then there's another road on the back side of this one you can see there's a space right here and right next to it there's a space and next to it there's a space so you got D29 D28 right 27 right there is that our bathroom yeah that's the bathroom that road that we're on. Some more of the area. C443 for reference. It's one of the spots. C429 is another reference spot. C428, 427 on the main road. These are all back ends in the road behind it. They're back ends, but they're adjacent to the construction area. And back on this side. These are not back ends. You pull in and then unhook and get your vehicle out. where the power cords are. At least on these, the you pedestal. Can, it's kind of obvious that you drive out. Yeah, these are pretty easy that you can unhook and drive straight out. I don't know that being right on this road right here, you can have a lot of traffic. 
coming through. At least as long as that construction's going, because they had some of the streets blocked off. They seem to be open today. Yeah. But this was this was like the detour street. Right. This morning. Yeah, C-121 for reference and C-120 across the street right there. And this would be Dotson, Dotson Street. So for reference, we were walking from the beach area towards the campground. Sorry, there's a drone above us. It's distracting me. And then of course the boat. And then you got all these guys, back ends, pretty close to each other, right on top of each other. I would say these guys are not staying for very long. They go down, all the way down to that end. And then on this street, across, you have more camp spaces. Dead zone right here in the center. A lot of weeds, mosquito breeding area. Looks swampy. That's Norwegian Sea and Timmer Sea. This is really not going to give you exact about all the spaces, but you can see the, di the distance between them. So you would park an RV right here, and that would be their porch and their table, and that's the back side of the RV next to them. So they're kind of like that all the way down on this side of the, the road. And Slater Bond is right down that area. The Chapel by the Sea is right over there. This is Turner Street which is our street we'd be turning on. Yeah. The Caribbean Sea, Aegean Sea, Indian Ocean, and I can't read the next one over there. But all this, all these areas right here are about the same. And you got some more, a couple more roads up that direction. And this is the road that we're on, walking towards the ocean or the, the bay. And the channel was up in that area across there. You see this side of here, you pull your rig in, unhook, and then back out from inside of the camp space. This one you could pull straight out, but other ones you can't pull out, pulling straight out in that direction because there's no, there's no path. Basically you pull your rig in, unhook, and then back out between those poles. Lots of nice rigs. Sure enough, let's put a plant, a flower. Oh, cool. 
so this is our area, our spot. Head it back in. The thing is that you, that end of the road is a dead end. So you come in from behind me and you go in. You gotta make a, a, a back end to where that guy's walking. And then you pull back out and you come this direction and you come back. If you like this video, like us and subscribe.